Hello folks, it's good to be back. Today, we are talking about something that you have all wanted for a long time. A sequel to Shaun of the Dead. No, and I don't care. Because everybody has been asking for a sequel to Shaun of the Dead. It's not a lie, if you believe it. So, before you jump out of your seats with excitement because you have always wanted this, haven't you? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's get into the video. Boo this man! No! Yeah, that, that oh, works. I like All right, okay. All right move. moving Ooh. on. Hey, what about Tula? We are back. Hello, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Do all the YouTube things. Shaun of the Dead is in dire need of a sequel. This from CBR.com came out a couple hours ago. There's no reason to think Shaun of the Dead sequel will ever come, but the zombie comedy needs a return, especially to see how things turned out. This published two hours ago by John Segura, and I can completely and wholeheartedly disagree with that sentiment because this movie is a product of its time. Shaun of the Dead was released at a time when zombie movies were making their way back into the popular zeitgeist again. And knowing the actor Simon Pegg and his comments over the years regarding other franchises, his comments about Star Wars fans. Like I said, folks, the internet never forgets. And here we have all kinds of comments made by Simon Pegg that allude to the fact that Star Wars fans are toxic. Star Wars fans are man babies. Star Wars fans are ungrateful. Star Wars fans are horrible people and so on. Toxic is thrown around so much. Star Trek fans are inclusive, but Star Wars fans, well, they're just bigots. Article after article going back with all these comments made by Simon Pegg. Why would anyone want to see anything that this guy does moving forward, knowing that he's made all these comments about Star Wars fans? I don't want to see Shaun of the Dead come back at this point. Let's take a look at this article, see what it says, and I will take it point by point, I guess, and give you my thoughts along the way. Although Shaun of the Dead was released in 2004, it has amassed a significant following. Not only was it recognized by various filmmakers, but others have arguably called it the best horror comedy of the decade, if not ever. Nevertheless, despite receiving high praise, a sequel has never been pursued. While it may be tough to follow up a film, with that many accolades, it needs to be, especially since it's garnered so much. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 hell no, no. I know another little movie that could be in the contention for best horror comedy ever. Pennsylvania 6, 5,000. <laughs> Director Edgar Wright made it known a few years back that a continuation isn't in the cards precisely because he said much of what he wanted to say with the project. That aside, despite no talks about a sequel or any other form of reincarnation, Shaun of the Dead did get a renewed life lease during the pandemic when Simon Pegg and Nick Frost reprised their roles as the comedic duo Shaun and Ed for a public service announcement video, The Plan. Hey, so what's the plan? Right. Call mum. Make sure she's okay. If Philip has been infected, follow the NHS guidelines to the letter. Ha! <laughs> Gay! So the property is still fresh. More importantly, because the title has stayed relevant all these years by updating itself with the times, this opens up an avenue for a return to the big screen. No, we don't need that because we don't need modern politics shoehorned into this. Anything that was put into that movie at the time was done subtly, through craft and creative writing. These guys don't have the ability to do that now because they can be open and upfront with their Marxism and their deconstruction. What made Shaun of the Dead great? Well, I mean, there was a myriad of things that made the movie great from the writing to the cast, the interactions, the synergy between them, the situations that they were put in, the score to it, 
all of it made a wonderful movie. I enjoy zombie movies, but this one especially is a horror comedy. Uh, British humor is a unique combination of contradictions that successfully mixes physical comedy with deadpan one-liners. As a result, there are hundreds if not thousands of notable examples of this throughout their cinematic and televised history. Nevertheless, Shaun of the Dead distinguishes itself from the rest by seamlessly blending that particular style of wit and satire with horror. Thus, it made two protagonists unexpected heroes as they haphazardly collected their closest friends and loved ones and attempted to shelter themselves within the confines of their favorite pub, the Winchester, during the zombie apocalypse. And I loved how Sean kept flashing to, you know, we'll get everybody, we'll go down to the Winchester, have a spot of tea, wait for this whole thing to blow over. And that was the plan until the plan had to evolve. And like I said, these two characters were complete buffoons but they found themselves during this, well, at least Sean did. Ed, we all know, he ended up a zombie in the shed. At least he was still able to play video games with Sean. Moreover, the movie excelled at incorporating themes from other genres like romantic comedy. For instance, the picture built a lovable narrative centered around Sean and his on and off again girlfriend, Liz, who dumped him shortly before the crisis because of his lazy, unambitious attitude. However, because of the state of the world forces him to get off his couch, he helps her stay alive, which rekindles their relationship. Additionally, due to the group's harrowing journey to the Winchester, Sean is compelled to grow up after losing his mother, Barbara. Nonetheless, the story wonderfully comes full circle since Liz learns from the experience and becomes more content with breezing through life. At the same time, Sean retains his slacker friendship with Ed in some capacity despite his zombification. Why Shaun of the Dead deserves a sequel. Here we go, the meat and potatoes of the article, what we've been waiting for while we got through our appetizer. In 2017, Entertainment Weekly spoke with Peg, Frost, and Wright about the history behind the original movie. During the discussion, the trio talked about the possibility of a sequel, and Peg revealed that he'd written up a treatment titled From Dusk Till Shaun, which would have followed up with Shaun and Ed, but also included some vampires. However... Peg added it was more of a joke than anything else. It was all just pub talk, which is a little relieving due to the odd plot concept. Either way, there's no indication that a sequel will ever appear between their penchant for fooling around and Wright's desire not to pursue the genre anymore. However, that doesn't mean one shouldn't happen. What? You've got the, the, one of the main guys driving forces behind it in Simon Pegg saying, I don't want to do another movie. You've got Edgar Wright not wanting to do anything else in the genre. And Nick Frost, there's no comment, which is fine, we don't care. But all this just plays into the fact more so that this doesn't need to happen. Despite people wanting something, they don't necessarily need it. Yeah, I want to have 18 cars. Do I need 18 cars? No, absolutely not. How many cars can you drive? One. You only need one. While the director's reluctance throws a wrench into the works, arguably making a remake more likely as time marches on, a continuation with the original cast would be ideal. Moreover, Frost and Pegg laid the groundwork for a sequel because of their PSA in 2020, and that was one that could potentially see an older Ed and Sean if it ever materializes. After all, aside from the zombies and humor, Shaun of the Dead contained a story full of heart, centered around maturity and acceptance. So it would be nice to see where that currently brought Sean and Liz, and possibly Ed. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 See, and there you have it. This movie doesn't need a sequel. This is one writer just looking for clicks looking to draw people in like me, hoping to get somebody to make a video out of it. Well, you succeeded. Why? Not because I feel so strongly about there not needing to be a sequel, although I do feel strongly about there not needing to be a sequel, but not mad or, you know, anything like that. Nothing to make me rage, but it just doesn't seem relevant, pertinent, or something that needs to be made right now. I mean, as I said, we looked at Simon Pegg's comments about Star Wars fans. So why would we want something modern from somebody like him, who him and Nick Frost made that ill-advised PSA in 2020 during the pandemic? So yeah, folks, it's your turn now. Let me know what you think. Do you want a sequel or continuation to Shaun of the Dead? Or are you perfectly happy with this movie and Hot Fuzz 
and anything else Peg has done, which I don't really follow his career. I saw Hot Fuzz once. I've seen Shaun of the Dead like 10 times. Funny movie. I enjoy it. It's one I probably should purchase uh, and give it a rewatch too. So stay tuned. More content coming. Single release videos will be back uh, with more frequency. We're going to get back to doing reviews again. Things like that. Channel members, Harvey Wakui and Tier. Remember, you can request specific content or reviews. Just hit me up, DM, Twitter, e email, uh, the place to be reviews at mail.com, the world's best mail. I'm Etep Wakui and from the place to be reviews. I've been here with all you. If I don't see you, have a great day, a pleasant tomorrow, and I'll catch you on the next one. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. It's better to burn out than to fade away. I could do this all. Cruise, thank you very much. Yeah. It's a waste of good suffering.